Hello, and welcome to Red Track Weekly Q&A. Today is all about Facebook and how to set it up correctly with Red Track. The points we are going to go through today are right here. We'll begin with some specifics of the Facebook setup, then go through the process of adding this source in Red Track, a bit of information on no redirect tracking, and finish with um, the setup in the Facebook account. Let's start with the differences. Facebook setup has from the other traffic sources. The main one, Facebook hates redirects. By the rules, all the traffic from your campaign must go to your landing page directly. That's why using tracking links like you would with other traffic sources is not recommended. The second one, your campaign could have only one landing page. So it would be wise to choose it carefully. As far as I know, Facebook does have a split test feature but it does not include tests and landing pages, only audiences and such. So the third one is their content policy. Facebook does not allow adult offers, real money gambling, unsafe supplements and so on. It is good to keep that in mind before buying the traffic from Facebook. Now let's move to the next point and add uh, Facebook as a traffic source in red track. This might be the quickest point today, as we already have a template for Facebook, so it can be set up in just a couple of clicks. Right now, I will show you how. So, let's go to the Red Track account. Here we are in mine. You're welcome. We are going to Traffic Sources. Click on New One. Type in Facebook and click on add. So here you, you see the template for Facebook. As you see, the direct traffic is already enabled. As I mentioned, Facebook doesn't allow redirects. You can also have a quick glance through the parameters we'll be using later. Like ad set, ad name, everything you can have in Facebook. So click on save, we're done here. Before going further, I would like to add a few words about the no redirect tracking here. When we create a campaign with direct traffic enabled, let's do it right away. Both tracking link and direct traffic scripts is generated. So click on new, campaign would be test, and source Facebook. As for offers, I like this one and click on save. As you see, both tracking link and the direct traffic screen, script are generated. With tracking link, you track only the clicks that come, uh, that come in through this link. This tracking is cookie based, so if users block the cookies, it might not work. No redirect tracking, however, doesn't need cookies at all. It tracks all the traffic that comes to a landing page. Uh, doesn't matter if it's paid or organic. We already have a solution that lets you use several scripts for different traffic sources on just one landing. It might be a good topic for the next webinar, but for now, our support team and knowledge base will have all the answers for you. Now, let's proceed to Facebook ads. Choose the traffic you need and go to the links section. Here, as a website URL, you'll need to add the landing page URL you have in red track. Let's make it example.com. Then you may either build a URL parameter or enter it manually. I prefer to do it manually as it sets a good example. So you'll see that to track it correctly, you need the URL parameters to be set exactly like they are in red track. 
So you cannot use any aliases here, just sub1, sub2, and so on. In your URL parameter field, just enter it like that, sub4 for the one that would equal sub4 in red track, then sub5 and sub6. Just go to the red track, copy sub4, add name, then sub5, add set name, and sub6, campaign name. These are the most used ones, and you'll see it in your campaign. along with all the other data RedTrack provides to you here. So that will be it for today. Thank you for being with us here and see you all next week.